All Aboard, bringing you board games. Tonight on All Aboard. In Star Wars The Deck Building Game, we will take on the roles of the Rebels and the Empire, engaging in an epic struggle to take control of the galaxy. We will assemble a team of iconic characters, purchase ships and vehicles, collect bounties, and use the Force as we vanquish our foes and strive to destroy our enemies' bases. Hi guys, my name is Gly. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. We'd just like to thank you all for taking the time to watch our video and of course to our patrons for your support. Thank you very much for your continued support. We appreciate it. Also, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles. So if we make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with the time code and we'll add them to the subtitles. So today I'm going to be playing the part of the Empire. And I will be the Rebels. <laughs> okay. So out here we have our bases and today we're going to be playing full galaxy mode, which is what they say is the way the game was intended to be played. And that just means that we have all 10 bases in our deck here and the winner will be the first person to destroy four of their opponent's bases. So out here we have the galaxy row and these are the cards that we'll either be able to buy or to attack which is called bounty hunting for the Imperials and sabotaging for the rebels. There's six cards that have come from the deck and then we also have a stack of these outer rim pilots and these are just cards that we can buy so that we can increase the amount of resources that we have. And then down here we have the force track. So we have a starting hand of 10 cards and we're going to shuffle these up and we'll deal ourselves five. But let me just explain the anatomy of a card first. So here we have an Imperial shuttle and Gly has an Alliance shuttle that mm -hmm. does the same thing. So our cards have different names just for the theme, but they actually do the same thing. So the Imperial shuttle and the Alliance shuttle just give you one resource. And these little cubes here are resources and they're used to buy cards. So you can see the value of the card here is the number of resources that you have to pay. For example, this blockade runner costs four resources. We also have, we'll say the stormtrooper, for example. Rebel trooper, the rebels. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And they give to attack. So attack are these purple cubes and they're used to attack our enemy base or any capital ships that they have in play, or they can be used to bounty hunt or scavenge. So there are rebel cards and imperial cards and neutral cards. Uh, there's no neutrals out there. Oh, the blockade runner is a neutral. Okay, in the galaxy row. So the imperial player can only buy imperial cards and neutral cards, and the rebel player can only buy rebel cards or neutral cards. Then we can also attack our opponent's cards, which is why some of these cards are faced in different ways. So the Imperial cards are facing out that way and the Rebel cards are facing this way. So if they have a number like this one here, like on the TIE Bomber, that means that it can be sabotaged or Jane Erso here can be bounty hunted. And we'll get the reward that's printed on the card when we do that. And then that card will be discarded. Otherwise, we can buy the cards for the resources I mentioned and they just go into our own discard pile and later on then they will get shuffled into our decks. Then another card that we have is this Inquisitor. And I have the Temple Guardian. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they just allow you to choose what they're going to give you. So they can be used for one attack, one resource or one force. And getting a force just means moving this force marker down along the force track. Now, when you have the force with you, if it's completely down at your end and it starts at the rebel end, then at the start of your turn, you're going to get one resource. But you must start your turn with the force completely at your end. And there are effects on some cards that say if the force is with you, then you can gain a certain effect. And you'll see that throughout the game. All right, so let's take our, our cards back here. And so... During your turn, there's a few things you can do. You can play as many cards as you like from your hand. Now, when you play a card, for example, say I had this TIE Bomber in my hand. I can play this card. I will get the two attack that's on that card, but I can also do the effect that's on the card. I don't have to choose between them. So I can play the cards. That's one thing I can do. Then I can commit cards to an attack. And that means that any cards that I have out in the play area here that have an attack value on them, 
I can use them to attack the base or capital ships and we'll explain capital ships when they come out. And after you commit those cards they must be used then to attack just whatever they're committed to attack. So that's the base and the capital ships. Although if there's any left over after destroying a capital ship that will go on the base. However if we sabotage our bounty hunt we also commit cards to that and once that card is destroyed then we cannot use the remaining attack on those cards for anything else. And then at the end of our turn we'll just discard all the cards that are left in our hand and we'll draw back up to five. So that's pretty much all of the rules for now. If there's anything else that comes up during the game we'll explain it when it happens. But the Imperial player goes first so let's shuffle up our decks here. And I'll see if I can take the force away from you. <laughs> no, today I feel very rebellious. So. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so dealer has five cards. And my home base is Lothal. So I start off with this base in play and I have eight hit points on this base. And I'm going to start with Dantuin and I also have eight hit points. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when our base gets destroyed, then we get to choose one of the other bases. This is a full deck of 10 bases here. Okay, so in my starting hand, I have three Imperial shuttles here. And all they do is give me a resource each. So I have three resources to start off with here. I also have a Stormtrooper and oh. he's going to have two attack. So I have a choice of committing him to the snow speeder here or to your base. Exile one card from your hand or discard pile. Oh, that's interesting. And what can I buy out there? I have a TIE bomber, a TIE fighter, and I can't afford anything else. Okay, so actually I'm not going to play this card yet. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play my Inquisitor and I'm going to use the Inquisitor for one force so that you don't get an extra resource there. Mm -hmm. So I just moved that along. So the Inquisitor is done. So I just tap him there. And then I'm going to use my Stormtrooper to attack this snow speeder. So that says as a reward, exile one card from your hand or discard pile. So I'm going to exile this card from my hand. And that mm -hmm. just means it's out of the game. And it's one of my weaker cards, of course, so I'm going to have a stronger hand because of that. That was an Imperial Shuttle I exiled there. And so these two go on the Snow Speeder. So this gets destroyed and goes into this discard pile down here. And immediately, any time a card is removed from the Galaxy Row, we draw a new one. So we get it's a TIE Interceptor. Mm -hmm. Something for you to attack if you like there. Okay, and the Stormtrooper is done there as well. So I have two Imperial Shuttles with a resource each. And I'm going to use them to buy the... I think I'm going to get myself a TIE Bomber. Mm -hmm. So that just goes into my discard pile. So I'll leave that there. I use my two resources here. This gets replaced immediately. And we have another TIE wow. Bomber. Okay. Oh, and the Imperials. Where are the rebels? <laughs> you have They're Jane hiding. Erso here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the end of my turn. So I just discard all of these and I draw back up to five. And of course, there's only five cards left in my yeah, deck. Because we have 10 starting cards. Yep. Okay, so what am I going to do? Okay, so I have four Alliance. Alliance Shuttle. So they're all going to give me one resource each and then i have one rebel trooper okay so i think that i'm going to use my four resources to take the hammerhead corvette oh okay mm. and that's a capital ship is it yes okay so, so that, that goes into your discard this... pile yeah and these are also gone okay and we get a new card immediately and we got an x-wing out here and for my two attacks, I'm going to attack your base. <laughs> okay. Actually, uh, yeah, I can't attack the TIE Bomber because the only thing I can exile is my Hammerhead Corvette. <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah your so, cards are still in play until the end of your turn. Yes. So that is my turn. And I shall now get uh, five cards in my hand. 
Okay, so I have four Imperial shuttles here again. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, and so that is going to be used. Let's see, I also have my Stormtrooper here. So he is going to attack with two, and I think I should get a start on your base there. So Ooh. I'll attack that, and then I'll use the four resources to buy this blockade runner here. So one, two, three, four. And I've got a new blockade runner on my discard pile. New card comes out, and it's an Atat. Oh, it's oh. an ATN. An Atat, does Six. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive and, and strong. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. And back to you. So I get to shuffle up my deck now. All right. So first is I have three Alliance Shuttle. One Temple Guardian and a Rob Rebel Trooper. So I think that I'm going to use the resource for the Temple Guardian. And then the Rebel Trooper, that would be two. So I use this for, oh, hang on a sec. Mm -hmm. No, no. What can Ginger do? Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take uh, Jean Urso. Okay, so that's going to cost you four. Yeah, so that's my f this four. And then for my two attacks... I will attack, no, you know what, the Thai Bomber can stay there, so I will attack <laughs> your base. Okay, mm -hmm. so Lothal has four on it. Yeah. All right. Oh, let me take Jean Urso. I just bought her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget her. Yeah. Oh, this is a neutral card. Okay, so I have a load of Imperial shuttles again. I have four of them. So it looks like they really want me to buy cards. What I'd really like to buy is that at at. So one, two, three, four, and another stormtrooper, which has two fight. So what does this Rodian gunslinger do? This unit gains two fight while attacking a target in the galaxy row. Yeah, but you know what? I don't really attack that many in the galaxy row, I think. So I'm going to spend three of these resources to buy the TIE Interceptor. This is going to allow me to reveal the top card of the Galaxy deck. If it's an Empire card, draw one card. If it's an enemy card, discard it. Mm -hmm. And that goes into my new discard pile. And then we get a new card. Lando Calrissian. Oh, he's neutral. Wow. It's expensive. Yeah. Draw one card. The force is with you. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. Wow. I know why he's neutral. He, at one t at one point he sided with Han Solo, but at one point he sided with Imperial. <laughs> that's so. true. That's true. Yeah. You don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have one, and I can buy a Tie Fighter with that. Is that worth it? The Tie Fighter. Well, it has to attack. It's always good to have some attack. So, you know, I might as well. So I'm going to buy this TIE Fighter here. Okay, let's see what replaces the TIE Fighter. Oh, my Y-Wing. Oh, okay. And so let me see. I will gain one resource for attacking that. Well, one resource is no use to me. So I'm going to attack Dantooine. Oh. And that's the end of my turn. So I'll draw back up to five and it's back to you. Back to me. So I have three Alliance Shuttle and then two Rebel Troopers. So two here, two here, and then one here. So I think I'm going to finish your home base, oh, oh, Lothal. My base is in trouble, is it? Yeah, so for my three, I'm going to take the X-Wing. Wow, Percent okay. Attack there. So I'm going to buy the X-Wing for these three resources and these four attacks will go to your home base. Okay. Before seeing what comes out, let's see what comes out before you make your final decision. Uh, oh, you can't attack it anyway. It's a Gozanti cruiser and that is Imperial. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so this is destroyed and I must choose a new base now. So this goes down here and that's one of the four bases that you need. So let me see what base I would like. I think that I'm going to go with Corellia. So no. Corellia only has 10 health, but when you reveal Corellia, purchase an Empire or Neutral card from the Galaxy Row for free and add it to your oh, hand. Oh, you're so going for the add -out. Add -out, Yeah, it's coming straight into my hand. Wow. Yeah. Oh my and, God, my Dantooine is in trouble. And you've got Chirrut Imwe. Yeah. He's very he's, strong though, like he, resources. He gets you some force. Mm. And if the force is with you, then he also gets you to attack. Okay, so for my first action, I'm going to play a capital ship. So this is the first capital ship we've played, and this is a blockade runner. Though designed as a diplomatic courier ship, the Corellian CR-90 Corvette is often used to run planetary blockades. Okay, and that's going to give me one fight and one resource. And this will just stay in play until it's destroyed. And of course, it has four health here, and... Cly must destroy this before she can attack Corellia. Wow. And it's like a wall of four attacks before <laughs> I can see Corellia. Mm. And speaking of attacks, I have, I have a the plans. lot of guys mm -hmm. out here. <laughs> you have the plans? I have the plans, yeah. Okay, so my at ad is going to come out. So that allows me God. to add a trooper from your discard pile to your hand. So let's see what i have here so troopers i only have i have a stormtrooper so he's going to go into my hand and so the stormtrooper can come here i've got another stormtrooper my inquisitor is here and then i have a tie bomber so discard one card from the galaxy row and an imperial shuttle so I get one resource for this. I get two fight for this. And... Oh, my Dantooine is... <laughs> it's looking in trouble, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I get two, two, and six on the at, -at. All right. So, first of all, I think that we need to do something about Dantooine existing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to spend four attack from my two stormtroopers. Oh, so Dantooine is gone. Okay. So you don't get a new base until the start of your next turn, which means that I can't actually attack your next one. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you, you can be choosing that as I'm continuing my actions here. So one reason... Oh, I have another attack on my blockade runner, actually. So... I am going to attack Chirrut Imwe here with the at, at So this is a bit of overkill, <laughs> right? So he is going to attack with six. I can't split the attack between anyone else. I have to first commit him to an attack. Yeah. And, oh, excuse me. No, I won't. Okay, so I am not going to use the at, at to attack him because I have one attack on my blockade runner. So I'm going to commit the tie bomber and the blockade runner to cheer it in way so mm -hmm. that's three so that takes care of him so what's your reward i gained two force so the force oh. is now neutral and he gets discarded here and we get a new card which is the nebulon frigate so it's a neutral capital ship all right and so there's nothing else for my at, -at to attack i guess my overkill, y -wing. <laughs> overkill on the y-wing right i wonder is that worth it so what other attacks do I have? I didn't use my Inquisitor yet, right? So I have an opportunity to use him for a resource or a force. I think I'm going to use the Inquisitor for a force. Let me just tap that to show that I've used it. And then I have two resources. So I think I'm going to get the Outer Rim Pilot. Mm. So that's my two resources used up. And the at, -at is itching for a fight, but, <laughs> but unfortunately there's nothing he can do. So you can't save resources or, or attack. So that just all gets discarded. These all go into my discard pile. You didn't want to attack the Y-Wing. I didn't want to attack the Y-Wing. No, the, the resource wasn't really worth it. And uh, 
No, maybe a better card might have come out, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I need to draw back up to five. I only have one left, so I shuffle up and yeah. you can go ahead. Reveal so, your new base. My new base is Hoth, Planetary Shield. While Hoth is your base, prevent the first two damage dealt to Hoth each turn. Oh, okay, so it's quite strong. It's got 14 health, right? Yes. Okay, so here's my five cards so i have the temple guardian alliance shuttle so these are all resources okay so one two three four oh wow that nebulon frigate is five worth five right yeah so i might use my temple guardian for a resource okay you're yeah. going to go for it i'm going to buy that okay what does this one do so this one is choose, repair three damage from your base or gain three resources. They are heading for the medical frigate, which Antilles. Antilles? Oh, okay. So that is my action. Okay, and this gets replaced this goes straight to my away. Discard. Oh, and we've got another Nebulon B frigate. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I have, so my outer rim pilot has come out. I have a couple of Imperial Shuttles, I have a Stormtrooper, I have my Inquisitor. So this is two, three, mm -hmm. Okay, so my Blockade Runner gets an attack and a resource. Two attack for my Stormtrooper, Inquisitor not decided yet. And then four more resources between these guys. One, two, three, four. So... I am going, the, the Nebulon Frigate is tempting, but if I use my Inquisitor for one more, I can get Lando Calrissian, and he looks very, very tempting. So I'm going to buy Lando. Oh. So and he six. goes to my discard pile, mm -hmm. and two, three, four, five, six. You're going to attack Hoth. Yeah, and so the first two, nothing happens, right? Yes. And so the third one is going to get through. And sorry, before we did that, I should have brought this out. So it's a Keldor Mystic. Oh. Okay, that's me done. Okay, so my Hammerhead Corvette is out. So it says here, exile this capital ship to destroy a capital ship your opponent has in play or an enemy capital ship in the galaxy raw. Okay. And I think that I'm going to destroy, exile this to oh. destroy your blockade runner. So my blockade runner then goes to my discard pile, but you exile that so yeah. it's out of the game. It's out of the game. Because if I don't do that, this uh, this attacks will not be worth it. So there's two here for my rebel trooper and then four from Jean Ursa. And Jean Ursa is a scoundrel. Look at your opponent's hand. If the force is with you, place one card from their hand on top of their deck. Wow, but the force is with you. Okay, but you still get to look at my hand. Yeah. Okay. So, so wow. Wow. <laughs> exciting. Wow. Yeah, very exciting. Okay, so Jean Ursa has four attacks and I have one here and one here. Okay, so, hmm. For all of this, this six attack will all go to the Corellia. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a big attack. Yeah. And then this two, I think, oh, what is this? Though? This unit gains two attack while attacking a target. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I'm going to buy this... Uh, Keldor Mystic oh, okay. for these two resources. It's good for the force, right? Yeah, it's good for the force, and um, the force is very close to your base now. Okay, so hey. one, two, three. And a new right. Death Trooper comes out. Wow, they're all Imperial there. Like, <laughs> I only have Y Wing. Uh, that's the right. Galaxy. And, and a couple, there's two neutral there mm -hmm. as well. And of course, the Outer Rim Pilot. Okay, so as you know, I have four Imperial Shuttles in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I also have my TIE Interceptor, which allows me to reveal the top card of the Galaxy deck 
If it's an Empire card, draw a card. If it's an enemy card, discard it. So it is an enemy card. Yeah. It's Princess Leia. So. Oh my god, did you just <laughs> discard it, Princess Leia? Yeah, she's gone. I don't have the plants now because she has it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> So here we go. Well, that's for the Death Star, which I don't have out here yet. And three attack on this TIE Interceptor. So Hoth is going to block one of those, but I'll... Uh, sorry, two of those, yeah. so I'll mm -hmm. hit for one. And then I would like to buy this new Death Trooper that came out. So wow. that's three. Oh, hold a moment there. Let's go and draw a card. Yeah, I think the Death Trooper is just looking pretty cool there. <laughs> mm. So, new card comes out. There's ah, an X-Wing for you. X-Wing. Where are my big guys? <laughs> <laughs> and I have one resource left so that nothing can be done with that. So, it's back to you. Okay, so I have the X-Wing, a Rebel Trooper, a Lion Shuttle, another alliance shuttle and a temple guardian so the x-wing is going to have three attacks two attacks for the rebel trooper one resource here and here wow the force is with you right it is yeah hmm i think i'm gonna use the temple guardian to bring the force back to neutral okay and i'm going to Tap him for you yeah and I'm going to use this five attacks to finish off your Corellia. Wow, Corellia didn't last very long, yeah. did it? Mm. And for the two, I think that... Uh, oh, what should I get? Yeah, I'll probably get... Uh, I'll, I'll buy the Y-Wing. Because there's only two there, so... Okay. I mean, that's, that's one. The Y wing was one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and guess what card? Oh, Chewbacca. Oh, it's there. <laughs> so, what's your new base? Okay, so I'm going to play Endor now. Finest Legion. When Endor is your base, each of your trooper and vehicle units gain one attack. Wow. They get because a bit stronger. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, I needed a, a strong one because <laughs> I'm having some troubles dealing with Hoth there. So you probably need a little bit more space there, right? Yeah. Should we move this over here? Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you won't need too much more space, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have... Let me see. My Atat is here. Wow. Lando is here. Oh my I God. have a Stormtrooper. And I have a TIE Bomber. I have a lot of fighting going on here. Oh, and I have a TIE Fighter. I think Hoth is... The troops are going in, yeah. They're not happy about what happened to Dantooine. Wow. Okay, so let's see what abilities we have here. Discard one card from the Galaxy Row. So I think I will discard the X-Wing. Okay, I'll get a new card there. Lobot. It's an officer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, if you have a capital ship in play, draw a card. I do not. Discard one card, nothing here. Draw one card. If the force is with you, your opponent discards one card from their hand. So let me draw a card, and it's an Imperial Shuttle. Okay, and then add a trooper from your discard pile to your hand, but I do not have anything in my discard pile at the moment. Mm -hmm. I just reshuffled. So let me put out my attacks here. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a big attack. So the Atat gets six. Lando gets three. And he also gets three resources. Lando is very powerful. Yeah, he was very expensive. Mm -hmm. and two attack for the Stormtrooper. Two attack for the TIE Bomber and two attack for the TIE Fighter. And one resource on the Imperial Shuttle. Do you get an extra attack because of Endor, right? I get plus one to each of my trooper and vehicle units. That's right. So the Atat is a vehicle. <laughs> mm. 
Lando is a scoundrel. I have one trooper. trooper. Wow. <laughs> and TIE bomber and TIE fighter are fighters. And Imperial shuttle is a transport. So it doesn't say vehicle on it. Looks like a vehicle. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, fourth is gone. Okay, so the first two get blocked, right? So yeah. a TIE fighter is just going to do nothing. And everything else is going to hit. So let's start off with the at -ats. So there's three, six, seven... Seven, eight, nine. Wow. 10, 11, 12. And the Thai bomber will finish it oh. off with 14. So Hoth is gone. Hoth is gone. Wow. That was powerful. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very powerful. So we're at two each. Yeah, let me see who's going to go next. Okay. And is there anything for me to attack in the galaxy roll? I cannot defeat Chewbacca with what I have. I have four resources so maybe I'm going to buy I think I'm going to buy the Gozanti Cruiser for three. So that goes in my discard pile. Mm -hmm. And we get a new card out which is a blockade runner. Oh I need a neutral. Yeah, so this is useless to me, and then I can attack nothing, I think. Okay, yeah. so this is also useless to me for now. Yeah, you went full on. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So my next base is Sulust, massing the fleet. While Sulust is your base, place the first card you purchase each turn on top of your deck. Oh, very nice. Okay, so I have Nebulon B Frigate. So repair three damage from your base or gain three resource. So I'm just going to gain three resource there <laughs> okay. for sure. And I have Temple Guardian, Alliance Shuttle. These are all resource. One, two, three. I think that I need to buy Chewbacca. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to spend these four resources for uh, to get Chewbacca. Okay, and a new card comes out. Yeah. Wow, this is Croc Cruiser. <laughs> right. And I'm going to use Temple Guardian for another resource to buy the Sea Rock Cruiser. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a lot of capital ships in your hand now. And that is my action. Oh, because of Sulust, Chewbacca will now go on the top of my deck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to that... do something about Sulust. <laughs> <laughs> and we get a new card? Yes. Okay, so it's the Quarren Mercenary. It's a trooper. Okay, uh, he's neutral, right? Yeah, okay. So he goes sideways, yeah. Right, so now I get... Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And it's your turn. Okay, so everything I have is resources here. So I just have the Outer Rim Pilot. Exile this unit to gain one force. Oh. Alright, so... I just get resources and I have three, four, five, six of them. So I think that I'm going to get the Nebulon B frigate because <laughs> I do need to have some defense. So that just goes to my discard pile and that costs five. Three, four, five. New card comes out. It's a Hammerhead Corvette. Oh, that's the one that I lost. Yeah. Mm. And exile this unit to gain one force. I don't need to do that right now. So that's it finish my turn okay so for my for the rebels Chewbacca is out wow and then I have a rebel trooper and these are all resources so resource Chewbacca has uh, five attacks and the rebel trooper has two. Oh, I can't finish your Endor Excel one card from your hand or discard pile. So my Nebulon B Frigate is going to give me three resources because Solus is not really uh, attacked yet. And I am going to spend uh, three, four, 
afford to get my hammerhead Corvette okay. back. There you go. And so. we get a new and card. So this will go on top of my deck because of Sulust. And uh huh. For the five attacks, Chewbacca will give to Endor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And for this two, I am going to attack the Tide Bomber because I think I need to exile some things in my hand. Yeah, I, in my discard pile. So I'm going to use that to attack the Tide Bomber and okay. exile my one of my Alliance Shuttle. Okay. Oh, so that's it. And this is neutral. So oh no, it's not neutral. Yeah. Sorry, that's a uh, imperial. And I have two resources left, and I think that I, what is this two? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a Rodian gunslinger for oh, my right. last two resources. Okay, and a TIE Interceptor has come out. Mm. Okay, and back to me. So I have my Inquisitor, who I am going to actually use straight away to give me one force. Wow. And the reason for that is I also have my Death Trooper here. They are going to get more force. Yeah. So I have my Imperial Shuttle is going to give me a resource and then I have three attack here with the death trooper but because the force is with me I get two extra attack on him and he is a trooper so he gets one more because of Endor's ability Wow! Uh, this is a fighter so it's not a vehicle no this guy's a trooper as well so he's going to get three his base two plus one from Endor and then I get three for the TIE Interceptor. So reveal the top card of the Galaxy deck. If it's an Empire card, draw a card. If it's an enemy card, discard it. Oh, so it's an uh, Imperial Carrier. So it's an Empire card. Okay, so it's an Empire card. So I just draw one card and this goes back on top of the deck. So I draw this card and it's my Blockade Runner. Wow. So that's another resource and another fight. It's not a vehicle or anything like that, so unfortunately Endor doesn't add anything to it. But we are going to launch a major assault on Sullust. So we've got six... You have to... Oh, sorry, we have to destroy this first, the... don't we? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So five on that to destroy that, and then the remainder is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one wow. is eight. And I have two resources but you know what I am not going to buy anything with those so I'm just going to discard all of these that I do everything I did yeah and it's back to you and that's yeah. my discard pile or sorry that's the end of my wow so my uh, nebulon is gone now it's back to my discard so I'm going to play my hammerhead corvette okay and uh huh so Keldor Mystic is going to uh give me two um force. Okay, so the force is with you now. Yeah. And then uh my rebel triple will give me two attacks four attacks for Jean Erzo. And then this one will give me one resource and two resource on the Hammerhead Corvette. Okay, so here Keldor Mystic can exile this unit to exile one card from your hand or discard pile. So I'm going to exile that to exile one card from my hand. Okay. That's from your discard pile, was it? Oh, uh, yeah, from my hand or discard pile. Okay. Mm -hmm. And wow, this two, four, six is going to go to, oh, hang on a sec. You still have your blockade runner. So I'm going to uh, exile, uh, hold just one second. What 
the slow bird say? When you play like choose, he gain. Mm. No, I'm going to use my three resource to uh to take a lobot. Okay. Is lobot better or yeah, I think I think lobot is better. So I'm going to take him. So because this is the first time that I uh I purchased Solus was gonna put this on top of my deck. Okay. And then a new card. Wow, another Imperial. And I'm okay. going to exile my Hammerhead to remove your blockade runner. Okay. And then put all this attack on Endor. Okay, so that's another six. So six and five. So there's eleven on Endor. And this goes to my discard. And one, two, three. Okay. So you can have your turn. Okay, so I've got a Gozanti Cruiser, which is a capital ship that comes out here. Two resources. I have a couple of Imperial shuttles here. So that's wow. going to give me some resources. So this is a resource round, I think. I have my TIE Bomber, which gives two fight. And discard one card from the Galaxy Roll. There's nothing really. Maybe I'll get rid of this Blockade Runner. Oh, we've got a Landing Craft. And I've also got my Inquisitor here. So he is going to be used to give me a Force. So it's now neutral again. And... My TIE Bomber is going to attack Sullust. So what's that wow. now? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Wow. And I have 4. So is there anything out there? Maybe I will get this Landing Craft. I will indeed. I'm going to buy this Landing Craft. So choose. Gain 4 resources or repair 4 damage from your base. Wow, and that's actually good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not sure if my base will last long enough for it to, to come out though. Oh, and you've got a Snow Speeder. Okay, and that was my four resources. So that is it. Okay, so my turn. So I have Jean Urso, I have a Rebel Trooper, X Wing, a Y Wing, and Lobot. Very strong. Yeah, so I think this is an attack. Four, two, I have three attacks there, two attacks here, and I will decide in a bit. So, look at your opponent's hand. If the force is with you, place one card from their hand on top of their deck. Force is neutral. Look. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a good round for you later. This one is if the force reduces, force is neutral here. Exile this uh, unit. To deal two damage to the ship, oh, they have in play. Just two damage. So how many do you have now? Eleven, right? Yes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and I have that three. So, uh, the fighter is going to. I sorry. Two. So this one. Uh, two four. So the fighter, uh, sorry. So Jean Erso and the X-Wing is going to uh, attack. So let me attack well, your... Jean Erso on his own can take uh, three. They can remember, uh, okay. add from the capital ship onto the base as well. So Jean Erso will have three there and then one for the remaining. So okay, how so many? It's 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Okay, and then this. Okay, so this is gone. And these, this is now destroyed. And I have to choose a new base. And that's your third one, wow. Yeah. And I, I have three attacks here. So I think that I'm going to attack your, the interceptor. And I gain, uh, and I gain three resources. So I'm going to attack this. And I gain three resources, and I'm going to use that to buy this. So speeder. just a moment before you do that. So this is destroyed, mm -hmm. and we get a new card. So there might be something else ah, that's yeah. useful to you. Well, eight. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford that. So I'm just going to use this uh, three to get this no speeder. 
Okay. And it goes on top of my deck because of Sulu's. Oh. Okay, and then this. Oh, Darth Vader. But let's move this here. And it's your turn. So now that I know Leia has gone with the plans, the, <laughs> <laughs> the Death Star is here. Oh, it will be hard to defeat the Death Star. Far when ready, spend four resources to destroy a capital ship your opponent has in play or a capital ship in the galaxy row. So let's see what we have wow. in our hand then. So we've got the Nebulon B frigate. Choose repair three damage from your base or gain three resources. And I think I might gain the three resources this time. I have an Imperial shuttle. Actually, we have two. Wow, so I can see resources. Darth Vader <laughs> getting into play. And oh, Lando. Lando has three resources and three fight. And then a Stormtrooper has two fight. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow, you're one away. Oh, uh, so close. <laughs> okay. So it's just too hard not to take Darth Vader there, isn't it? So three, six, seven, eight resources. Wow. Yeah, I hope he can get into play soon. And what's the new one? Oh, a U Wing. I have all the wings now in my, <laughs> <laughs> in my deck. A full, the y -wing. A, a full alphabet of wings. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and three and two is five. That gains four resources, right? Uh, that's no, no use for me to attack, I believe. So, yeah, so there's five. So what's that, 15? Yeah, 15. So one away. Two, yeah. four, six. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, and sorry. Draw one card. If the force is with you, then your opponent discards one card from the hand. The force is not with me, unfortunately. But I will draw a card and hope there's an attack on it. And there is. It's a tie wow. interceptor. So, reveal the top card of the galaxy deck. If it's an empire card, draw a card. If it's an enemy card, discard it. So, it's a Gozanti Cruiser. So, I get to draw a card. And that goes back here. And let me put my three attacks on this first. Mm. And draw a card. And it's an Imperial Shuttle. Which I guess is alright because I get rid of that for now. Uh, the next round. So we'll attack ah. Solist. So Solist is gone. And then I'll just discard this. And that's the end of my turn. So Solist is gone. This is your third ship. Okay, third base. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see who I'm gonna be the last. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so my base is going to be Bespin. When okay. you play a neutral card for the first time each turn, draw one card. Oh, wow. Okay, that's powerful. So I'm going to play Nebulon, and so I can choose to repair three damage from your base or gain three resources I'm going to gain three resources right, go for the base yeah repair. so this is a this is a neutral card so I am going to draw one card so I'm going to draw one card so this is a rebel trooper uh, this is a rebel trooper a snow speeder I have two alliance and then a temple guardian so this is going to get two attacks two attacks and then this two is going to give me uh resources so my nebula uh, and beef frigate is feeling a little bit safer at the moment <laughs> yeah but your opponent uh this one is your opponent discards one card from their hand so you wow. have to discard one card from your hand. Okay, I'll discard this Imperial Shuttle. Okay, so I think that I'm going to use this as an attack. Oh! And I'm going to attack your Nebulon. Okay, my Nebulon B frigate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I have two resources left and I think I'm not going to 
buy anything with that. Well, we don't want to not a rim pilot. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to make my hand weaker. So okay. one, two, three, four, five, and it is your turn. All right. I'm not happy that you took away my 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 Nebulon B frigate there, mm -hmm. but I do have an at at. Wow. And that allows me to add a trooper from my discard pile to my hand. And so I have a stormtrooper here. Darth Vader isn't a trooper, oh, unfortunately. Sorry, I have two plus three resources here. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can go buy something now yeah, if you like. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that. So I'm just going to buy my uh, Quarren Mercenary. Okay. When you purchase this unit, exile one card from your hand or discard pile. Up to two cards instead if the force is with you, but it's neutral. Okay. So I am going to discard one from my discard pile. Not discard, exile one from my discard pile. So I'm going to exile that. So this is now gone. Hmm? Your alliance shuttle. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, so my at at is going to give me this stormtrooper into my hand. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's going to have six attack. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have a stormtrooper, which has two. That's the one I just picked up. And I have another stormtrooper there, which also has two attack. And a TIE fighter. If you have a capital ship and play, draw a card. But oh you just God. destroyed my capital ship, so I can't do that. But it does have two attack. And These I are have, all attacks. Yeah, and my death trooper. Unfortunately, the force isn't with me, so I don't get the extra hit. But I do get three more. So the death trooper and the tide fighter will take care of the Nebulon B frigate there. Okay. And... Let's see, uh, so this is two, four, five, six, seven, wow. eight, nine, ten on Bespin here. Wow. Okay, and these get discarded. Oh my god, Bespin is about to <laughs> get destroyed. Okay. All right, so I am going to play a neutral card, C Zero Cruiser, so I can draw one more card because of best spin. Okay. And then discard one card from your hand to repair three damage from your base. Oh. So I shall dis uh, discard Alliance Shuttle to repair three here. Okay. And, and I... that Cruiser gets a resource as well. Ah, yeah. So... I have Chewbacca there, oh, no. Rodian Gunslinger, and two Alliance Shuttle. So if you have another unique... Oh, I don't have another unique. That's right. Yeah, uh, a unique played... is anything with this symbol yes. here, right? Yeah, so Chewbacca is going to get five attacks. Two here. And this unit gains two while attacking a target in the galaxy row. But I'm going to attack the Death Star. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, so all of these attacks will go to the Death Star. Oh, we did not uh, put out one here. Uh, another yeah. anti-cruiser. Okay. So this go to the Death Star. And the tree, I think I'm not going to buy anything. For this tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And back to me. Yeah, back to you. Oh my god, I think you're gonna. F uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't think I can finish you this time. So I have my oh Nebulon my Brief Frigate, so that can repair three damage or gain three resources. We'll see in a minute. Exile this Outer Empire to gain a force. Um, I will do that actually. So, oh wait, hold on, let me see. So, Imperial Shuttle, Imperial Shuttle, and my Death Trooper is back out. So, he gets three attack. I got one, one, and so let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there anything worth buying there for seven? No, I don't think so. 
So I am going to exile this unit to gain a force. Ah, oh, so the force is with you. Okay. And now, uh, so the force is with me, so I get two more attack in here. And so I'm going to use this to repair three damage. That Oh, wait, it's not thinking about buying for five. No, it's better to repair the damage. So I repair three damage there. And then I'm going to put all of this here on your three on your sea rock mm -hmm. and two on Bespin. So that's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. And then the two of these, should I buy an outer rim pilot? Mm, no, I won't. I'm just going to get rid of these. So it's back to you. Wow. Okay, so Sea Rock Cruiser is discarded. So I have Jean Urso. I have the Quarren Mercenary, Rodian Gunslinger, and two Alliance and a Temple Guardian. So this is going to have four attacks. Wow, your, your Nebulon frigate. Four mm -hmm. and then two. I'm glad I have it now looking at all these attacks. Oh, so this one is look at your opponent's hand. If the force is with you, place one card from there. But the force is not with me. I'm just gonna have you're to going to be very excited. Oh have my a God. look through there. Oh my God. Darth Vader is here. Mm. Um, Bespin is done. And the Atat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to attack your uh, Nebulon. So here's five. Okay. And then the rest on your base. And I'm going to use this as another attack. The temple guard. Oh no, you know what? I'm going to use that as a... Uh, for force. For force <laughs> to put that back to neutral. Okay. And this I'm going to discard. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think, think this is the I end of it. Be it for <laughs> one. Yeah, so we have a blockade runner, which gives an attack and a resource. We have collaboration between Darth Vader and <laughs> a tie bomber. Discard one card from the galaxy roll. Let's get rid of this U wing. Uh, what does that give? Four resources. Yeah, I'll just do that for the sake. Here's a rebel transport for you. Okay, and that gets two fight. And so we've got a TIE Interceptor. Reveal the top card of the Galaxy deck. If it's an Empire card, draw one card. If it's an enemy card, discard it. So it is an Empire card. Mm. It's a Star Destroyer. Very nice. So I draw a card, which is a Stormtrooper. For two more attack. And he's got three attack in here. I think this is going to be it. <laughs> it's a pure attack. <laughs> Add, add, add a trooper from your, discard, there, <laughs> from your discard pile. So I have a death trooper here and Darth Vader. So Darth Vader gives me two force. So the force is now with me. And so he gets six and four is ten. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is total overkill. But yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel sorry for the rebels. Like, I get five. Yeah, I feel sorry for the rebels. You eliminated Leia early in the game, so <laughs> she had we, the don't, plans. we don't have a leader. So he has five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is kind of overkill. So <laughs> obviously I'm not going to buy anything. So all of this, of course, is going to go on here. So I think that's Darth it for Vader. Best Friend. Yeah, yeah Darth, Darth Vader, Vader is just going to take care of it on its own. Oh. And that is it. So that's the fourth base. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, good game. I do not wish the Empire to win, but <laughs> Leia has been eliminated. And that's right. Well, they're overpowering troops. They just have so many resources. It's tough to deal with them. The Force is very important in this game. In the first round, I made sure to use my Inquisitor to move it away from the Rebel end of the track because that extra resource can be very useful, especially in the early game. Then I worked on getting it to my side to trigger the abilities on some of my cards, which gave me some very powerful attacks. 
Selecting a new base when you lose one is a big decision. They have some powerful abilities, but usually the more powerful they are, the less hit points they have, so you have to choose wisely. My first base, Lothal, didn't last very long, but that was probably a good thing because it allowed me to play Corellia, which let me purchase a card from the Galaxy Row for free. The Atlat was there at the time, which gave me a lot of attack power for the rest of the game. I purchased the Hammerhead Corvette twice, and twice I exiled it to hit the Imperial Capital ships. I knew that they wouldn't come back to my deck, but I had to make sure that all my other attacks hit the Imperial base, and it all had to be done quickly for the base not to have a chance to repair itself. It can be tempting to buy a card just because you have the resources, but you want your more powerful cards to come out more often, so sometimes it's better not to. I tried to avoid that temptation today, and I think it worked well. The rebels were leaderless in the beginning. Leia was eliminated early by the Empire's TIE Interceptor. And without the plans that she had in her possession, the rebels had little chance against the Death Star. And the rumors are true. It can destroy a planet. Bespin was completely wiped out in the end when it was the rebels' base. So that's it for today. You have been watching Star Wars, the deck building game here on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks a lot for staying with us and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye! Bye!